Hello, my little hack moms. Today, uh, I'm gonna be looking through some of Scout's cosmetics on the TF2 wiki page and, I don't know, making some snarky comments about them or something, I guess. I mean, we all know that the Scout Shaco is the peak, the pinnacle of character design. Nothing can ever top that, so, you know, everything else is a moot point compared to this, and I can't believe I'm freaking doing this. You got this goofy, odd dog costume, but this picture of it actually goes kind of hard, not gonna lie. Everyone in the TF2 fandom seems to be talking about the track terrorizer because of the description that says, For a brief stint in high school, Scout joined the track team in one of his many schemes to pick up girls. He was kicked off the team after three days when everyone realized he was 23 years old and also not enrolled in the school. You know, I've never liked athletics, but maybe joining a track team isn't such a bad idea. Could be fun. Just kidding, if I were to have to do any athletic activity, I'm staying loyal to the marching band gang. Yeah, baby, I know some of you are watching. Have a great season! Why does he look so devious with this friggin' duck hat? Bro, d don't give me that look! Can you feel my soul filling with regret? Oh my god, you guys, look at the little squirrel! His name is Chuckle Nuts! It says that he has something called a woggle? Which, thankfully, they've provided a link to. This is a woggle, apparently. It's something that keeps your scarf in place and boy and girl scouts wear it. It's a lot less interesting than you would think from the name. Apparently there's something called woggle hopping, which is the act of jumping over something that is the same height or higher than a woggle. So basically, anything? Like... If you jump over a fence, can you call that woggle hopping? Guys, we gotta form an official league for this and make it an organized sport. <laughs> International woggle hopping league. <laughs> okay, but I don't know what's funnier. The word woggle or the origin of woggle hopping. Okay, so George Corner, a scoutmaster in West Yorkshire, wanted his scouts to stay fit. He told the scouts they should be fit enough to jump over any item the height of their woggle. Okay, but here's what's so funny about this. So apparently a woggle is a little thing that ties around your neck and helps your scarf stay in place, so it shouldn't be any bigger than, I don't know, this, right? So does this mean that the Boy Scouts could not jump over something this small? Was the bare minimum for joining the Boy Scouts being able to jump over a necklace? Guys, we're getting into the deep woggle lore. Anyways, back to Team Fortress 2. There's this thing called the Pocket Pauling, which is a little doll of Miss Pauling, a woman that Scout has a crush on, which really sucks, but that's what knives are for, guys. <laughs> and anyone wanna wanna retexture, make it a pocket or well. In all seriousness, if I was a popular enough YouTuber to get a plush line, I think my plushies would probably look like that, some sort of like Coraline style button eyed voodoo doll looking thing because you know it's got to be creepy, it's got to be edgy, it's got to be me. Okay, but speaking of being creepy and edgy, this outfit is so freaking sick. Like, if, if you photoshopped him in the background of like the purge at Halloween Horror Nights, like I, I wouldn't even be able to tell, he fit perfectly. It definitely looks like he'd go with me to a horror convention, although I'd be the one that everyone is looking at. Yo, this is cursed. I hate it. Please delete it. Also, Team Fortress 2 wiki has the definition of millennial in case you've never heard of a millennial before. Dude, dude, dude. Venetian Mask Squad. He can turn into an alien, which is pretty epic. He's got a bunch of shirt options, which are, um, really, uh, really, really nice. I mean, those have gotta be, like, expensive shirts. Am I right? He has little birds! I used to be obsessed with birds as a kid, and I really, really loved the blue jay, which is that little guy over there, and they have little baseball caps! But oh no, it, it's gonna get better. It's gonna get so much better. It's a bat! It's a freaking bat! It's beautiful! He also has this adorable bat beanie. Now, apparently in Team Fortress 2, there's a way to color certain cosmetic items. Unfortunately, with his bat hat, it seems that you can only color the eyes. So, um, there goes my chance of uh, seeing Scout dressed as my FNAF persona. I think they make a great team because one of them hurts people with a bat and the other is a bat that hurts people. 
Elsa was this, like, in-and-out-looking costume for some reason. The bigger question is, wh why do I find that strangely cute? As I buy my little hack mons, I'm going off to ponder the questions of the nature of the heart. By the way, Woggle. Everyone start searching Woggle so I can finally be one of those YouTubers that turned this small, obscure thing no one cared about into a trend. Bye, thank you.